Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Electric Field Practice Question 3. This question is talking about an electron in the electric field. This is a uniform electric field. So uniform electric field means from the electro, uh, electronic uh, field line, we can see they have equal distance between each electric field line and also parallel. That means any place in this uniform electric field, they have equal same magnitude 200 newton per coulomb and the same this same direction which is going to this direction right so now at the t equals zero this electron at rest so that means the initial velocity equals zero we're looking for where is this electron after t equals 0 0.05 microsecond so this question will involve both electric field formula and the kinematic formula. Let me show you. First we need to find the electric field force because electrons are negative so the force the direction of force is opposite to the field line, which is going this way. This is a force, electric force. We write Fe. So looking for, we have formulas. Think about if we're looking for where is this electron means find the displacement. So to looking for displacement, the formula in kinematics is d equals d equals we can write d equals to initial velocity times t plus one over two a t squared. And the initial velocity equals zero. That's why this formula becomes the 1 over 2 a t squared. Now we given the t is 0 0.05 microsecond. So looking for the displacement, we need to find the acceleration. To find the acceleration, we can see we can use Newton's second law. The acceleration equals f equals m a, right? Because in that situation, F is the net force. The net force is acting on the electron. We have, in this situation, the electron is actuated a uh, force, electric field force, and its gravity we can ignore the compare with the Fe because the electron is really, really tiny and uh, the mass is really small. The mass of electron equals 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 exponent kilogram. Its charge is Q electron is 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. So compared with the gravity and electric field force, we can ignore the gravity. So the only force acting on electron electric field force. So because at the beginning t equals zero at rest, so once it's released, the electron will move this way, right, move this way. How far? So we need to find its acceleration. And to find the acceleration we need to know find the Fe. To find the Fe, we can use the formula from definition. 
the formula definition is F E equals because we given E F over Q. So that's why we can see from this formula we manipulate we given E, we have Q, which is the electron charge. That's where we can find the force. So the force E, F E equals E times Q, the cross multiplication A, which equals to 200 Newton per coulomb multiply the Q is 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. We got 3.2 because 2 times 1.6, 3.2, and 10 go to the exponent, negative 7 Newton. Even the force is very small, negative 17 Newton. It's really, really small, but its mass is really small. So the second step, we have to find the field force. We can go to F equals MA, and we can find the acceleration. Acceleration equals the force divided M. So we have force is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 17. This is Newton. The mass is 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilogram. Because this is negative 31 exponent, flip over the top become positive. So the answer, we got the acceleration, a pretty huge acceleration, which is 1.92 Uh, no, it's three point. It's three point two because this is uh, three point two times ten to the. Uh, oh, this is three point two. That's what we need to divide into this one. And result, we got the acceleration is three point five two, three point five two times ten to the thirteen meter per second squared. So this is the acceleration, acceleration 10 to the 13 meter per second squared. So now after you got the acceleration, then we can put the, this formula, we'll find the displacement. So displacement equals 1 over 2a times t squared, which is equal to 1 over 2 a is 3.52 times 10 to the 13 exponent meter per second square multiplied t, which is 0 0.05, 0 0.05 microsecond, which is we need to multiply another negative 6 exponent and give it a square. And this is uh, which just uh, using calculate. So I can show you uh, with the exponent, I can show you how to perform it. So first you got 1 over 2, you can see 0 0.5, 0 0.5 multiply 3.52 exponent, you just press the EXP exponent to the 13 exponent and then multiply another one 0 0.05 so you put the 0 0.05 go to exponent negative 6 negative 6 and square this number equals to 0 0.044 meter so this one actually is is 4.4 4 centimeter right so you can see the D equal 4.4 centimeter. Okay. This is presented by Wise Guy.